Welcome to Xavier Fox Talks, and of course, I am your host, Xavier Fox. Get some. Yeah. It could. He might be like what you're doing later because I want to take you to the show. Hmm. One thing I think well, I'll back up. Like if you're looking for it, you'll find it. You know, a lot of women, like you said, just to kind of piggyback on what you said, if you're looking for that woman that, like you said, bring up that pair, that dude cheated on me. Now you're in a relationship with another dude and she's carrying that same stuff around. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, she's looking for signs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, wait a minute. Like, she's trying to check your uh, phone book. I'm telling you, you try to check my phone book. And I mean, I, I ain't worried about anything. I'll leave you my open. You can check my phone. I don't care. But if you're looking for it, you're going to find it. Mm -hmm. You know, so, just, I mean. I think, I think women need to understand their roles. Like mm -hmm. understanding, mm -hmm. understand the position that they play. Understanding, and he's that, not saying that in a show, chauvinistic way. I'm not. I know, and I'm, 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 I'm yeah. saying. But you know, they're watching it. They were like, yeah, that "What you mean, I'm not role?" Yeah. role. Like, you know, like, 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 who, like, who did you say something about being subservient? Right. I talked yeah. about subservient. Yeah. Selective, so being, selective right. submission was what we were talking about. Right. Right. So, I just said straight up submission. So knowing, period. knowing, <laughs> knowing your role would be um, knowing as a woman that you have certain duties to fulfill, obviously, knowing that there are certain things that you're supposed to do and certain things you're not, you're not supposed to do. Like, as then, I know what my place is. I know that I'm supposed to be the head, I'm supposed to lead, I'm supposed to make decisions. So what um, should she do? What should she do? Yeah, um, and, you know, in a relationship, you know, I, you know, cooking is, is, a, is a role in that, in that capacity as a woman, if you're in a relationship, you know. Why? You know, it, I mean, if we speak traditionally, I mean, most women they cook for their men. That's you know? easy to go back traditionally. Now. Yeah, yeah, I mean, well, I'm speaking. I'm saying, I'm saying from traditional. Because he just said, you just said a role. Was traditional uh, for a man. What you just said, to right? Say, right. Lead. Exactly. Things like that. Right. So that exactly. from him saying, of course, he's gonna say dinner. Right. Because and I, I drop the clothes off at the cleaners. And I don't, I don't right. think that you. I don't want to just pigeonhole it. You know, when you say something like that, you know, mm -hmm. because you do. You make your relationship work the way you want to. So if you believe in that, you'll find that. Well, right. I mean, different things, different strokes for different folks. Right. But when, I, I mean, when I say roles, there could be uh, a, a variance of, of, of answers that come out when I say roles. So well, when you say cooking, I'm big out okay. Crazy. So so <laughs> so as as a man, I know that I should probably be changing the oil on the car. I should be hooking the computer up. I should be maybe fixing the lawnmower. I should be cutting the grass. As a woman, maybe you should be beautifying the home. You should be doing the shopping. Maybe you should be doing the laundry. Maybe I, you know, you know. So it, it's certain different roles as far as you know when you're in a relationship with somebody. Maybe you living with somebody that you know. As a man, I got my roles, and as a woman, you got your roles that you need to fit. I got two things. I think women should understand this. Uh, a Men have feelings too. Mm -hmm. uh, we talk about this uh, apology thing mm -hmm. that we are emotional beings, you know, and it just we express our emotions differently. And so, women feel like sometimes they can talk a certain way to us or can act certain ways toward us that hurt our feelings, and we have a we have a tougher time explaining our hurt than women do. You hurt my feelings. You hurt. Like, that's not <laughs> Right. But we, we can't say that. Ain't right. no, there's no man at this table that can can, can say that, as, that there's not a woman that's ever hurt their feelings right. multiple times. Mm -hmm. And it's hard for us to express that. And so women have to be very careful with how they conduct themselves as far as communication wise because you'll say that. And that's when we get to the whole women can say a certain thing to a certain line and the only way as a man is you fight back is an aggression so you really gotta be careful what you yeah. say you know that's why i was told by a great uncle man just gotta know how to walk away right. and things of that nature i think it's very important that women understand that men have feelings too because that they sore too i, I mean that's, that's a sore that's, that's a great sore. weapon that verbal that verbal oh, i'm telling you man hey i had a female every one time i hate i hate even admitting it but she was like ain't nothing about you special you just like everybody else when I talk about roles um, and, and, and saying, telling women that they need to stay in their lane, um, I'm speaking, you know, if you got a man, like, you know, she made that comment to you. I know one of my guys, his fiance, said to him, he, he did something, he made a comment, and she basically came back, she said, you a stupid ass nigga, is what she said to him. Ooh, don't be calling no man no nigga. So, it, it was like... You know, knowing knowing your place, you know, not being disrespectful in that in that instance, and that you obviously that affected you because you remember it. Yeah. But but women need to understand that men pride themselves on themselves. That like you said, men have feelings. Yeah. Our 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 manhood is very very precious to us. 
what what we exemplify through our actions and what we do as men is what makes us men. Is what makes and what makes us stand out. Like yeah. you know, you being an attorney is a part of. You, it, it encompasses you and who you are. You pride yourself on going to law school, finishing law school, and being an attorney. Yes. So for a woman, for a woman, for a woman to attack you and say something like you ain't shit or you this, you that, you, you went can't to clean up or you can't <laughs> pay up, <laughs> you can't get this bill, <laughs> you, know, you can't, you can't say because a lot of times women will say something. Uh, if it was a dude that said what he said, you would not do out. Oh, right. So you're saying things to me that the average person on the street would be on the ground. Right. Exactly. So you can't. You got to be careful with what you say. Another thing is that. We boys, we talk a different about different things, but with my guys, I'm not talking to them about my relationship like that. Exactly. So that you cannot huge. sit there and talk about our relationship, to marriage, your to your girls, to your mama, to your sisters, all that, because then they get all up in the mix of their relationship and they give you all different types of advice about how you should handle your same. relationship. Yep. Then guess what? We we or we can or we can make up. And now I, I go over to the barbecue and everyone looking at me like I'm crazy. Yeah, right. mm -hmm. yeah. You know, now you've sowed seeds of discord in our relationship because right. you're telling everybody your business. Let, and the, the Bible talks about the let no man put asunder. But mm -hmm. you're do, and that includes the man and that woman not putting it asunder. Right. So you cannot actually cause that discord in your own relationship by going out talking to everybody about the, the and what you can your relationship. From communication people. Absolutely. Because yeah. if she's communicating with him. That conversation between them two. Exactly. Right. Not going back to mom and saying, you know, he talking about quitting his job so we can get into the entertainment industry. And I, I just want to go back on. With that, tell him. I do want to go back on one thing you said because I just was hitting me, and I don't. I guess for me, I don't. I don't really sway toward the thinking of a traditional role type of thing. Mm -hmm. I think that within a relationship, you both work together to figure out which roles you have. Yeah. You know, oh, because it true. might be mm -hmm. that whatever is possible, you, you know, you might have to do more. You know, one day she might have to cut the lawn one day. You know, she might have to change her own tire one day, you know. You know, I might have to come home early and cook dinner, you know. So I don't, I, I think that when you're in a relationship, you do the roles that work for your relationship. Yeah. Or just to make it efficient. Better. Right, you should be efficient with it. So, I mean, I, and I believe me, and I think it all, you know, kids and stuff, pretty much I think as, you, as we grow from kids, you know, the way you were brought up, boys, you do the hard stuff, girls, you do the soft stuff and all that stuff. Boys take out the garbage and all this stuff. But I just really think that for relationships where you have to talk, communicate, and figure out, and you know, obviously through your process of the way you're working and your time zone, timing and everything, that you will figure out what roles work best for each person. Mm -hmm. Instead of just having that traditional role like, hey, you the woman, you cook, I'm the man, I do the other, uh, you know, I get to leave out the gutter. Mm -hmm. You know, because I think that a lot of times, a lot of women are taking on these roles. And uh, we kind of mentioned it a little bit that the women, uh, instead of the submissive part, they're, you know, going into the manly side of things where, you know, like, hey, you doing that? What's my role? Right. You know, and, 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 and I don't fault her for that. But see, she needs it. But see, she she's doing that if there is no man around. Right. When a man step into that, she needs to she change. needs to. And, and, and that's the back. difference. That, and that's the difference be because she has to. Yeah. She has to know, be able to understand. fall back and understand that because she might have been doing it for a while. Like I've been doing, you know, I've been doing it like this. All of a sudden, you can't tell somebody who's been running the same track. Like, hey. Walk the track, you know. Got you got, and that's where the comprom compromise, maybe compromise the communication. It's, it's, it's been things that you as a man been doing in your life. There may be some things that you might have to ask. You and and and, and again, it goes through the process. And your own bank account and all right, that. All of a sudden, she wouldn't be the money. Okay. And what? what? And, but you got to go through that process, and you like, okay, man, she kind of got this down pat. Right. She understands this better, so I would go ahead and I would know how to relinquish that role because it's for the betterment of both of us. Yeah. Exactly. And that's how you got to think about that role. So I'm gonna ask then the. Because we talked about it and I had to jot it down because I forgot last time. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the things uh, uh, that I think we kind of touched on, we, we really didn't put a finger on it, is that men try to fix problems. Women should understand that about. That's just something I think I feel that's innate in us. Yeah, absolutely. You, you put something on the table, mm -hmm. we're going to try to resolve yeah. it and understand that's what we figure, that's what we do, mm -hmm. so that's what we're going to try to do. I think also understanding that if you listen, you would learn a whole lot. Yes. Instead of mm. trying to out talk yes. or over talk, yes. sit back and just listen. You know what? Absorb Let me add on to that right quick. Because a lot of women accuse men for not listening. I think that what women don't understand is that men listen to the point 
and then after a while it becomes I'm just hearing. Exactly. Yeah. Because so when you're saying listen, a lot of different right, stuff, because you're you listening, selectively you understand it, it, what, what you the person is saying. But after a while, it becomes a point where he's only hearing, and then a lot of women are just hearing mm -hmm. and not listening. Or they never, they never start to to, to listen. To listen. Yeah. So I, that's why I say because understand that if a man's innate quality is to fix things, then he is listening and he's taking in enough information to be able to resolve some of the issues or problems that might be posed. Because <coughs> men want to be, uh, want to have a function. We need to have a function when we're part of a relationship, and one of those things that we know we can do well is fix things. I like that point that you said when you said we hit a point, and then you come back and we fix it. So it's like you said, okay, what's, what's, the, what's the problem? Well, you will now lay like, okay, cool, I know what the problem was. All right, look, this is what we need to do. But you want to go in and you want to keep on going and you want right. to beat it in and you want to make it something more. And, say, okay, and that's why he's not understand. listening no and more. No, I ain't hearing all that. No, I know she ain't going. <laughs> and, you know, I always think about that one uh, commercial where that dude, uh, uh, um, um, his wife is going off on him and he's just sitting there watching TV. And then they like, how can he do that? And then you know, they show what his real job is, and he a referee, and uh, all the basketball players yeah. shouting at him. He's just sitting there like. <laughs> <laughs> so when she talking, hey. <laughs> you know that tune out. We I think we tuned it out like you said, man. Because we are right when you say what the problem is. Okay, we know what the problem is. Let's either work on the finish. You ain't got to say no more, right? But why we got to sit here and talk for an hour and a half? Now you're pissing me off because the bull get. Well, dang, I ain't gonna bring, <laughs> I ain't bring up bull. Right? But well, you, yeah. that was a very, very good point about us wanting to fix things. But isn't that kind of contradictory? Because we with the point you made about women shouldn't expect us. Two fixed things? No, 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 no. I think you need heart. That's what you said. But, but really you, I, I see where you're going, though, because women do look at us as because we are trying to fix things, then they do want us to be that emotional fixer, upper. That's upper. that selection process. But, but right, mm. but that that is not our. You have to be want to be fixed at that point. You have to take put in some actions. But I say the fixed thing. If you come to me and say, you know, man, I just have a, a, a hard day today. Let's say you're in a relationship, and oh uh, man, I got all the kids, this, that, and other, this, that, and other, and I had to do this, that, and other. You're like, okay, all right. Well, you know, if you uh, adjust your time <laughs> and if you do this and you do that, and they looking at you it's like, off. oh, right. <laughs> like I didn't uh, talk to you for that purpose. Right. I just want to dump I, on you. Right. So right. I think right. sometimes. Uh, women need to understand that we want to fix and we always want to help there's just not there's not we're not trying to be combative but that goes to the, the last one I was going to say that if uh, women need to understand that if you want something and we talked about it just ask for it mm -hmm. just ask mm -hmm. for it mm -hmm. you know if you want something just open your mouth mm -hmm. just ask for it because our main objective is to listen then to fix and then to be able to, you know, feel like then therefore we have fulfilled our role, our job. Right. And speaking of that, men, we, we're more rational. We're more, we, we, we reason more logically and, and on a more objective level. So we're not going to put a lot of emotional thought into uh, an argument or a decision. Yeah, so we, we want, we want, we want. Yeah, I, 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 I know. Hey, look, we I like, oh, 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 You know, that's I, him. That's right. Hey, look, hey, look I keep every time. Views is not expressed. <laughs> <laughs> he called y'all irrational. <laughs> hey, because you know, they hear what they want to hear right. before you say That's what I just said. I said they hear more than they listen. Yeah. Right. Get, get to a point. What is the point? Okay, what? I, I, I you said because what? I didn't call you last night. <laughs> I see him at the club. <laughs> that brother Dean, boy. Big brother <laughs> Dean, don't like <laughs> Dean. <laughs> What'd you guys do? Well, I'm Scooby, and I think we about to. Have a bit of a problem here with this question. Bring it. Whew. What do you need a woman for? I might have to put that in like two parts. <laughs> yeah, I might have to put it in two it's parts. Be, I got to try to keep it real, nice on, but it's 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 it's, it's, it's <laughs> sex <laughs> and companionship. You can't get well. You could get sex from a man, but I'm pretty sure none of us go that way. Um, no. no. Um, no. You could get companionship from your boys, but no. you really yes. don't want that kind of companionship. No. no. Um, other than the sex, a woman, well, my woman, grounds me. 
Mm -hmm. um, she checks me when need be. Mm -hmm. And uh, she definitely, I think that's the big part, she checks me when need be. Keeps you accountable. She keeps me accountable, mm -hmm. and I cannot say this, that woman checks the hell out of me when need be. Because <laughs> sometimes I just get so beside myself, and she does it, she'll just go, baby, X, Y, Z. Foxy, I see you. And you can tell everybody what you want to be called by. Xavier Fox here, still on the red carpet. Represent X. X is good.